Scott Shear has a knack for making tasty mustards and sauces. After receiving many compliments on his recipes, he decided to turn his hobby into a business. I just like being in control of my destiny. His destiny can now be found at farmers markets and grocery stores across the state, thanks in part to the help he received from the Small Business Development Center in Piketon. We pulled a list of regional grocers and their floor managers, and I gave that to him to help contact and kind of build his marketing portfolios. Any, anytime I had a question, they, uh, if the, they didn't know the answer, they found the answer out and got back with me. Even questions about taking his product overseas. They helped line me up with a couple of people that do exporting in other countries. And we sent them some samples and some pricing. I stay in close contact with Saucy Sal's and Scott by communicating events that are coming up, any kind of regulations, requirements. I think it's so important to have uh, an open dialogue with our clients that we serve in order to meet their needs and be available to them as things that could impact their business come down the line. Kelly says the early years are the most critical for small businesses. The infancy or startup of a company, I mean, that's, that's huge. But the next two to five years in that company is going to really determine and define what that company is going to be. So it's critical that they stay in contact. Scott credits his success to several factors. The relationship he's built with the Small Business Development Center, his commitment to marketing his product, and some good friends. And we take uh, eight or nine friends and go up and work a 12-hour day making mustard. And Ohio Mustard now found in more than 250 stores. Their business is almost like your child and, and you root for them and you cheerlead for them and you want to see them grow and flourish and be very successful.